Hello everyone, welcome to another Phantom 12 video. Um, today I am... I was just working on, on some compact clocks right here in my test world. Not very overcrowded so far, but it'll come, it'll come. Um, so what we have here is, I think, the most compact clock in Minecraft. Um, it's my assumption, I haven't uh, looked around as much as I could. Um, it's configurable, just like that. Pretty straightforward to build, I think. Uh, yeah, the torch will burn out if you put it on um, no delay. So you would have to have some delay. Um, at least in this setup, I haven't seen any torches burning out yet. Um, so, yeah, if any errors, please let me know. But here's how to build it. You just need four blocks, one repeater, three redstone and one redstone torch. So it's just like that, that pretty straightforward, there, 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 and there. Put that on one, one there, and there we go. Yeah. Pretty fast. Um, I was also working on another one wide clock. Uh, let me see if I can replicate this real quick. Face down. Um, then a block thing, thing, thing. Go up there and there. Um, I'm pretty sure I have that. All right. No. Hmm. Huh. Hang on, let me get back. Alright, there it is. Um, so you had to invert the signal coming from here. Um, you could also do it by doing something along the lines of this. The only disadvantage is it'll be one wider, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't put a block like over that torch because the torch will power the redstone and the redstone will then unpower the torch again and it will be like a super fast clock and the game is not able to handle that shenanigans. So there, there's a clock configurable using this repeater right here. Um, yeah, pretty decent to hide, you can, yeah. I guess all you redstone freaks uh, watching this could figure that out. Um, but there's some one white clocks for you. I will um, play around with it some more. Um, oh, by the way, the way you get your output out of here is just anywhere. Basically, like right there, there, um, even from up here. Yeah, you can get your input from basically anywhere with this clock. Uh, with this one it's either from this torch or this redstone line uh, that'll blink. So yeah, you don't have to have that block there. So for for this one, four blocks, uh, three redstone, one redstone torch and one repeater. Pretty resource uh, light, I think. Because, yeah, you just don't need that much. Uh, this one's a bit more, um, mainly because there's a sticky piston involved. Um, two repeaters, I think. Ah, yes, that has to be a repeater. Okay. Um, redstone torch, two repeaters. Ah, two redstone torches, sorry. Two redstone torches, two repeaters, one, two, three, four, five redstone. And of course, if you want to expand it, just go like this. Oh, oh god, damn it! Hang on. There. Uh, uh, you. Okay. So 
So just go out like that, select a block, then right click, there we go. Um, yeah, redstone isn't waterproof. Ah, so. uh, yeah, you would just do it like that. Uh, it'll, yeah, it'll expand like really far in width, but it's only one. I oh no, it'll expand in length. Uh, but nevertheless, it's still one wide. So yeah, pretty configurable with these settings as well. Just configure these two, and it'll go much faster. Uh, pretty easy to set up in a small cave, especially this one. Just again, make sure you do not have a block over this torch. Because it'll freak out. Just don't do it. Leave a space right there. Okay? Um, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hang on, let me test something right here. Yeah, you can turn it on and off with uh, a lever or even some um, repeaters going in there just like that so now it's off now the clock's on pretty easy to set up as I said um, I'm gonna break this one. so I thank you all for watching and don't forget to rate, rate comment and subscribe God. goodbye